Hello everyone, over the last few weeks I've had a lot of people asking me, is it possible to change a logo on a specific page in Squarespace? I've also seen it in a lot of forums and questions being asked about it. So, possible, it's very easy, and in this video we'll go over how to do it. Okay, so before I start, I'm just gonna point out that this is for the Brian family of templates, the millions of brands, I'll leave a link to a list of them in the description. But if you're using the non-Brian family template, just leave me a question in the comments below and I'll do my best to find the class ID of the template that you're using. Um, and also to point out that this is assuming that you're using a PNG or a JPEG as your logo. So without further ado, let's get cracking. Okay, so if we go to our pages tab, and um, we've got a couple of pages in the not link section. So this logo change page, this is the one we're gonna change the logo on. So if we come back to design, custom CSS, and we wanna manage custom files. Now I've got my alternate logo over here on my desktop. I'm just gonna drag that over to here to upload it. There we go, that's uploaded. Just drag that back out. I'm gonna click on this logo, and then I'm just gonna copy this URL. Copy it to the clipboard, delete it, hit save. And then I'm just gonna paste that into a text editor. Minimize that down. And then we wanna come back to our pages tab. And then on the page that we want to change the logo on, I'm just gonna click on this cog icon, come across to advanced. And then this is how we make the magic happen. We're gonna put left angle bracket, script, closing bracket. Helps if we spell script right. Said in my last video, every video I make, I spell something wrong in it. So let's start that again. So I'm going to put script, right angle bracket, come down a line, a couple of lines actually, so we can see what we're doing. And then I'm going to put a dollar sign and then an open parenthesis to give it its full name. I'm not going to keep calling it that in the video because it's quite annoying. So I'm just going to call it bracket. So if we put a left bracket and put function, another left bracket, a right bracket, and then a left squiggly bracket. And then I'm just gonna come down a line. I'm gonna put another dollar sign, another left bracket, quotation mark, dot, header, hyphen, branding, hyphen, logo. Another quotation mark, right bracket. Now it's important as well that you use a capital H on the header, otherwise it won't work. So after head of brand and logo, we want to put dot ATTR, left bracket, quotation mark, SRC, another quotation mark, comma, and then I'm going to put another couple of quotation marks. Now in between these quotation marks, this is where we're going to put the URL of the um, logo that we uploaded to the CSS editor, but we'll finish writing this script first and then we'll drop that in. So if we just put a right bracket, semicolon, just gonna come down the line and put a right squiggly bracket, a right bracket, and then another semicolon. Okay, so we're done with that bit now. So if we just get the URL of the logo that we uploaded, our alternate logo, if we just copy that, come back to, let me just minimize that. And we wanna come back to our two quotation marks just after this, I'll say, if we just paste that in there, hit save. And there we go, our alternate logo is displayed on that page. If we go to the other page, it's our normal logo. So just to point out as well, um, if you're doing this on an index page, we wouldn't put it in these pages contained within the index. We'd actually put it into the index page itself. Okay, and then one other thing, which is completely optional, if we go to the mobile view, you'll see that it doesn't show our alternate logo. So if we just come back to our page settings, click on advanced again, and then after header branding logo, we can put comma, dot, capital M, mobile, hyphen, bar, hyphen, branding, hyphen, logo and then hit save. And then you'll see it's worked on mobile as well. So there we go, pretty simple to do. If you've got any questions, leave them in the comments below. 
If you found the video useful, leave us a thumbs up. And if you're not already, please do subscribe for more videos like this. And hopefully, I'll see you in the next video. See ya.